Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and welcome to my very first vlog. Um, let's get started. So today I have a few different things going. Actually, I have three different bandanas <laughs> I'm working on. I don't know why. So I want to finish all three of those today and then possibly even a couple of scrunchies I have here. So I have this bandana here that's almost done. I just need to add a couple more rows. Um, this one here I started today. I took this one, I took this to work with me to um, work on during lunch. So I started that during lunch. And then I have this one that I need to make a little bit longer. The yarn is, because it's so thin, it's kind of, it turned out really small. This is 10 rows and it's just so tiny. So... I need to work on that one as well. And that one's going to take a little bit longer since I think the rows are turning out smaller. So, and then I have, I think a couple scrunchies started. Oh no, it's, it's, it's just attached. Okay. This one, yeah, this one is started. So plan for this evening, since everything is almost like pretty much started and already done is to finish these three and the scrunchie for this today just because it's already late in the day what time is it six yeah it's late um i just got home from work a few hours ago and i relaxed watched some tv i ate and now i'm gonna get to work yeah let's um gather my materials put that in there i do not need the apple pencil so it probably needs charged again. I charge it all the time and then I never end up using it before it dies. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's kind of ridiculous how fast it dies. But I also hardly ever use it, so. Um, I won't bring this right now. I will just bring the bandana supplies. And then look, I'm also working on a coaster. <laughs> Not a coaster. Why do I keep calling them a coasters? I'm working on another cozy. Yeah, this is the way. Another can cozy thing. Okay. Hook, scissors, yarns, I don't need my iPad, I don't need this. Alright, I think we're good. Okay, well I had sat down and made some food, like just a cup of noodles real quick and um, I walked to the corner store and I got, as I was about to sit down and eat my noodles, a package came. This is actually something I ordered a while ago. Is it kind of dark? I feel like it's kind of dark. What if I open up the curtain a bit if that'll help? That lets in a little bit of light. Uh, I'm just going to turn on my lamp. I was trying to avoid it because I turn on the lamp. I got to close the window so people can't see me. All right, anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, actually, this is the second part of my order. The first part of my order I got a couple days ago. Actually, a little bit while ago. A while ago, actually. Um, I ooh, I got all these beautiful Juicy Couture yarn. Let me move this. It's in the way. Also soft. It all fits here perfectly. Um, the other one of this is here. This one I already had. But I ordered a bunch because they were on sale and I had a coupon that like made them only a couple dollars each. Oh my gosh, they're just rolling around loose in there. <laughs> so I have this one. This was supposed to be Sparkle. What the heck? This one was supposed to be Sparkle. This is called, this is the Free Love. And... I swear I ordered the sparkle one. It's kind of like a, I would say like a, a hot pink, but not like super bright. Like this, this one is like super bright. I can't really tell with the lighting right now, but uh, I'm pretty sure I ordered the sparkle one. And then I also just to get free shipping, I threw these in there. I wanted to see, wow, I ordered both rainbow and like they're different. Like look how muted this one is compared to this one. I don't know if you can tell the difference. You kind of can. Look at that. That's so crazy. Like, these are... I ordered two of the same one. Are they even from the same lot? 
They are. What the heck? These are to make bandanas and wow, they're gonna look so weird. That's so cool that they're so different. Actually, I don't mind, but I kind of wanted it to be more like a diff like um like this rainbow here. So it's kinda the the more pastel one is kind of like this one. This one's a lot thicker though. The big twist is a lot thinner compared to this one. I need to find an alternative to I love this yarn because I am not going to go back to where that yarn came from. So, yeah. So I'm just going to use up what I have from there. But if anyone has a good alternative for this brand of yarn in this rainbow color, like an alternative in cotton... Because this one's nice, but it's it's soft, but it's a different kind of soft than this one. Because this one's thicker, so it's like got a little bit of a squishiness to it. Okay, well, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, and then let's put them away real quick. Do, 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 do. Here's my bandana shelf. Oh, no. Well, this isn't for bandanas, but it's like my cotton yarn shelf, I guess. <laughs> Um, we'll have to move you guys up here. And now, we can put these here. It's kind of funny how different they look, yeah? That's cool, though. And then, I have another one of these that I'm working on, which is actually really soft. I like that. And then this, I... Don't know where I got this yarn from. I can't remember. I think I got it from Michael's. I don't know. Hopefully it's not from the bad store. I don't think I spent too much money at the bad store, so. Um, yeah, all right. I'm going to get back to work because I haven't even started what I was going to be working on because I got distracted by walking to the corner store and making ramen, so. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to work. Hi, good morning. It's the next day. Actually, it's not even morning. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> it's like six o'clock. It's, it's actually almost seven. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. <laughs> almost. Um, I had to work today and I got home like around three because we had to go to the grocery store and get a couple of things and I just kind of relaxed I watched some TV with my boyfriend and yeah um, but I have this bandana is pretty much done I need to do one more row but I realize I'm not gonna have enough yarn to do a border on it or even um, this the the ties the ties so i don't even know if i have enough for one i don't think this is enough to finish it and i cannot find this yarn anymore it doesn't exist i mean it does so what i found out is that this yarn it is from michael's and it's yarn lane brand and this is the color i think robin egg speckle and this yarn doesn't exist anymore. Uh, the Yarn Lane brand. However, this yarn does exist other, under other labels. Um, it is a Premier Yarn brand, so they do have it at the Premier Yarns website. So I actually can get the Robin Egg Speckle from the Premier Yarn website. I think, I can't remember if I looked to see if it was on Yarnspirations or not. Um, but also Joanne's Big Twist, their cotton is the exact same. So they have some of the exact same colors. So for example, all three of the, these big, well, this one's not Big Twist, but, um, this one is also this brand. Like I saw this in this color, um, this color with this label on it. And then also this one as well. And then also all of the colors from this brand are available in Big Twist too. So I went to Joann's today to see 
if they had, uh, if by chance they maybe had, um, like, the big twist in um, the Robin Egg Speckle. Because I, I didn't see it on the website, so I thought I would look just to see. They did not. But they did have this Blueberry Speckle in the big twist. So I can get that from there. And then I worked on this a little bit. I brought it to work again, but didn't work on it too much at work. <laughs> But I worked on it a little bit last night after I finished up this one and was realizing I was pretty much out of yarn. I think I might just do, I think I might finish it up and see if I can finish it. Like do one more row with it. And then do maybe like white as like the, um, the border and the ties. But I want to finish this one and possibly... I'm going to try to see if I can finish this one. I don't have white cotton yarn. I was looking at some. I got to pre-order it from Joanne so that way I can get the two for three dollars. Now it's actually morning. <laughs> um, so it's the next day. I worked on this one a little bit last night. Um, and then this one, I, I didn't end up working on it last night, but I did this morning and uh, the last row is almost done. Look at this. This is all I have left. It's kind of a bummer. If I would have had my tail be a little bit shorter on the end, maybe, I I still maybe wouldn't have had enough because I still have one, two, yeah, I still have like nine more stitches, so I probably would have ran out even if I this was shorter. So what I think I'm going to do is take out this last row and maybe I'll do the final row in white and then also the border in white i think that'll be okay yes yeah i think that'll be all right so i think i found a solution i just need to get um some white yarn white cotton yarn for this so this will be put away for later until i get some yarn for that and actually now i have to get ready for work unfortunately so i will see you guys later okay i'm back from work and i acquired some white yarn and a few other colors <laughs> um when i got to work this morning before i started i um put in an online order for pickup and i work literally in the same plaza as joanne's so I just went and picked it up after work. I could have gotten it on my lunch, but I chose to, um, I brought this and worked on it during my lunch this morning. So I didn't get very far during my lunch, uh, but I, at least I, you know, accomplished a little bit. So we've got Big Twist, since that is like the same, pretty much it seems to be like the same as this was it like yarn yarn lane yeah yarn lane it's the same brand as this pretty much just with big twist label though however this feels a little huh? actually they feel about the same this one just feels a, maybe a little squishier but i think it's because it's looser down here whereas this is like rolled a bit more nuts um but I think I got, yeah, I did. I got, I got four of the white. I also got, I thought I picked two of these. Oh, there's the other one. <laughs> so, oh, and they did. So <laughs> they're, they're the same, but look how different they are. Can you tell that this one's like a little bit more muted and this one's a little bit more like bold? And this is, I already, oh, you know what? Maybe I should have went with the lighter one. So I already had this one. It's the same color, but this one is darker. But, and you know what's funny is I checked they're the same color a lot. Yep. So the same color a lot, but one is a bit more saturated, which I liked that. 
and that's what I thought mine was, but it's not. Anyways, moving on, there's more. So now I have bought my, wow, I didn't realize how big these were. Um, I bought my first ever um, Lily Sugar and Cream, minus um, this one here, I actually is a Lily Sugar and Cream, but it's the, the scrubby one. I got that on clearance at Joann's and they don't make that colorway anymore, which is really sad because I wanted to get more scrubby yarn in that. But I got four of the Lily Sugar and Cream in different colors. This one's kind of similar to the, I think it's Water Lilies. Yeah, the Water Lilies. But it's almost similar to that Big Twist one, except this one has darker shades of blue and purple instead of the green mixed throughout, which I actually really like that. And this one is Moon Dance. And these ones are actually all cotton, I believe. Then I also got this one, which I think is like, oh yeah, Over the Rainbow. I was going to call it like Tropical or something. But this one's really pretty. I don't know if I showed this one properly. Let me show it again. <laughs> And then I got Tamor. This one is buttercream. Really pretty. I like the muted rainbow colors in that one. This one is Pebble Beach Ombre. I like this one. It's got like different shades of blue and some brown in there. Actually, I think that's more of a green. Oh yeah, it's more of kind of like a green. I really like these ones. So these will be bandanas as well. And that's it. That's all I got. Try not to spend too much. I only spent like 20 bucks, which isn't too bad. Okay, so now we're gonna put the yarn away. All right, so this is where I keep my cotton yarn over here, minus these two up there, but they're, they're doing their own thing. Um, I think I have an idea. Let's see. Scoop you back a little bit. So I was thinking I can put the white ones there because I probably won't be going to these all the time. These will be probably backup border, I guess. I don't know why I got for. I guess I didn't really need to. I just got them because they're on sale too for three dollars and then I had 15% off coupon for pickup and store. <laughs> so it was really cheap to get these. Um, I don't really have anywhere for it to fit because it's so chunky. So I have to relocate Hello Kitty and Kropi and maybe that too. that'll be all right <laughs> that works I suppose so I'm home from work it's 2 52 I got off at 11 30 but I didn't get picked up until almost 1 ish 12 30 ish 1 30 1 ish and because my boyfriend couldn't pick me up until those times he had his own work obligations which is fine because there's things for me to do around there and i always bring my yarn just in case <laughs> so i have something to work on um plus i had i i had i didn't even get to work on this at all really i yeah i didn't do a single stitch well i had after work um i needed to return a package to amazon because i ordered some safety eyes and they were just not good i ordered some clear safety eyes um, so I could paint them and when I got them the quality just was not good they were like cloudy and they weren't like clear I mean they were clear but you know not like good clear <laughs> so I returned those before it got too late and they already refunded me just quite interesting I guess um, they're giving me an advanced refund, and they're like, well, we'll take your money back, though, if we need to. It's like, okay. Hopefully you don't need to. I sent back everything. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, the 
this jar is splitting a little bit. I don't know if I like it. Anyways, this is what I got. So I did the last row in white, and now I'm doing the white, um, oh my gosh, the white scallop edging. This bandana pattern is from Passionate Kelsey, if anyone is interested. One, two, three, four, five. I had already forgotten how many. <laughs> um, what did I do after that? Oh, so after I returned the package, cause thankfully there's a UPS. Well, there's a, a Kohl's next to my job that has an Amazon drop off, but I apparently couldn't drop it off there. I guess there has to be an option when you choose to return for you to drop it off at Kohl's, I thought selecting UPS drop off meant like I could drop it out off at Kohl's because it was like a UPS drop off, but it wasn't. The lady said so. Thankfully, there is a UPS store in the same parking lot, just across the parking lot. So I had to walk across the parking lot, and it's getting hot now, which is nice. But I hadn't changed. I had brought a I had brought a change of clothes. I was wearing this tank top. Blech. wearing this tank top under my work shirt and um I had not taken off my work shirt and I didn't change from my jeans or my tennis shoes I hate wearing tennis shoes I hate my feet being covered I just feel extra hot when my feet are covered like but yeah so it was getting hot so I had to walk across the parking lot it was like already getting like 80 degrees which I love but I hate when I get off work and it's like hot and I'm not changed yet and I just hate wearing jeans so yeah I walked across the parking lot to go one, two, three, four, five, six, one more to go to the UPS store. And then after that, I was deciding on the next closest available place I could walk to to change my clothes because I regret not changing because I my plan was to return the package at the Amazon store um, at not the Amazon store, um, at the Amazon counter at Kohl's. And then after that, I was going to go to their restroom and change my clothes into my shorts and tank top and my, my uh, sandals. And somehow just like completely spaced out about that and was like, okay, I need to go return this. I just had a lot of stuff in my hands. I had this backpack on, um, which is actually like a cooler backpack. It's got like a insulated lining. <laughs> so it's literally just like, it's pretty much just that. And then it has like one pocket on the outside here that I have like some scissors in and sometimes other things depending on what I'm making. And I have my yarn in here. So this is like my yarn, my to go yarn backpack. And I had that. And plus I had my regular purse bag, which is a little bit not large, maybe like about like this size, but sideways, actually a little bit smaller sideways and not as you know not as tall anyways <laughs> and then I had a plastic bag full of the well that was actually in here so I guess that wasn't it was the package too I had too which was pretty small it fit in my 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 bag but and then I had my sandals in a plastic bag in here with my shorts in here as well because they all fit yeah so I walked to the gas station, which was in the same parking lot, <laughs> and I, um, they have a restroom in, it, uh, in there That's because they, they share the building with the jack-in-the-box, so they probably have to have a restroom because of the jack-in-the-box, I think. And if you're not from this side of the country, uh, jack-in-the-box is a fast food restaurant like McDonald's or Burger King. <laughs> and... Yeah, so I went in there and I changed my clothes and I was thinking about getting Jack in the Box, but they don't have anywhere comfortable to sit down. They don't have any booths. They only have like tables with hard chairs. And I was like, well, I'm going to be changing into shorts and I don't really want to sit down on the, the hard chairs. I know at Wendy's, um, they at least have like booths. Most of their booths are like cracked granite but at least they, they <laughs> at least they have some booths and if they do have chairs they're um sorry I'm trying to get some more 
urine out. If they do have chairs, they're um, they're padded at least too. So I walked a little bit further after I changed to go to Wendy's, and that is where I ordered some food on my app from Wendy's and waited for my boyfriend to pick me up. And by the time I finished eating, waited for my food. It was so busy. It's normally not that busy when I go there, but it was also like lunchtime. Normally when I go, it's like um, when I work a full shift and I get off like around two or three o'clock, depending. And when I go over there to weigh, uh, it's yeah later in the day. So it makes sense. It's busier around lunchtime. It's so full, but there was actually still room for me to sit. Thankfully, and the tables were pretty much clean. A lot of times when I go there, like, there's nobody there, but all the tables are dirty. <laughs> Probably from the lunchtime rush <laughs> that I normally miss. Oh, and I think I saw um, the same little old lady that, well, okay, she wasn't little, but she was like, well, I mean... She's probably about the same height as me, maybe a little shorter. <laughs> I saw this older lady that I saw last time I was at Wendy's waiting for my boyfriend and it like randomly just started like raining super hard and like like we both kind of were just like looking outside and that um and she mentioned uh, she I forgot what she said. She said something um because I had headphones in and I realized she was talking to me so I took them out and um she said something about like the rain and I guess it was hailing and I didn't realize and I I guess she said something about that. Um, and I didn't, I didn't catch, I didn't know it had held until like the next day and a coworker mentioned it. <laughs> um, but that must've been something that she was commenting on. And I, uh, but I had said in response, I was like, yeah, I guess I'm going to be stuck here for a while because <laughs> it was pouring so hard. Like I could not go outside. I would have been drenched. My heart probably would have been fine because it's an insulated bag. <laughs> so I don't know if wetness can get on the inside <laughs> from the outside, <laughs> but yeah. Um, and I think I saw her when I was leaving because she kind of looked at me and did a double take and I kind of was like, she looks familiar. And her order was like the same because last time she had ordered like, um, like I think like a, like some kind of sandwich and then I think a chili because I don't have soup, right? And I think like a chili, there was something in like a little soup container and then her little frosty. <laughs> and... She looks familiar, and yeah, anyways, just a random little thing. That's all I did so far. I came home, relaxed for a little bit. Um, oops, I thought I left this out there. So I'm just working on this bandana. I'm super slow, but I am getting better at it. Um, this is actually a new hobby for me. I had started learning, like, I hate to say, like, 10 years ago. <laughs> but 10 years ago I was only 22 so but still <laughs> oh I don't know about you but I'm feeling 22 I remember when that came out I was so excited like when I finally turned 21 and I sang that song on my birthday why do I feel like this is getting clumpy yeah I think I, I think something got twisted up here let's start this over Oh gosh, oh no, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> ah! I mean, I guess it's okay. I'm supposed to do a chain in between each of the scallops and I've just been doing scallops in every single one. I did two. So now I gotta take out a bunch of stitches. I got distracted talking. Now that's a sign that I should just not talk and crochet at the same time. <laughs> How far back do I have to go? Just to here. Oh my gosh. Well. <laughs> oh no. Oh gosh. I took out an extra stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Alright. Move that. I hear something outside. Sounds like it's probably a delivery truck. I'm not expecting anything, so. You're a 10 out of 10 loaf over there, buddy. Okay. Now I have to do my single crochet. Wait, that's not a single crochet. That's a double crochet. What are you doing? I will show you guys this bandana when I am done. <laughs>
took me way too long. <laughs> um, but I think it actually turned out really cute. Like, you can't really even tell that I had to do an extra, you know, um, not extra, but that I had to do um, one row in white. Oh my gosh, I couldn't think about <laughs> what I was trying to say. But this one was fun to make. It's really pretty. I actually like the white. I'm sad that I can't find this color except for online. That kind of sucks. So my bandana collection is coming along nice with three completed ones. Um, this one is a little bit larger. This one's actually quite large. So this is good. Would be good for someone who has like a lot of hair, I guess. Or if you have like really curly hair. I think this would work really well. Oh, I did still have to do something about this end here but yes <laughs> and the I did accidentally tie the ends of this a little funky but that's okay it still works it's super soft I love the rainbow color it's so pretty and it's a little bit larger I think this one is 16 rows and this one is 14 with the edge so it's almost about like I guess you could say 17 if you want to count this ruffle as a row. But I just love how pretty this is. I need to find another yarn that has a really similar colorway because I really, really love this one. It's so pretty and it's really soft too. But I can't get this yarn anymore so I need to find a replacement. Um, and then my first one I made was this one which is really pretty. It's like reminds me of pineapple. It's kind of tropical-y. However, I made it out of acrylic yarn which it makes it kind of a little bit stiff. This is the big twist. I think, I want to say like paradise or tropical paradise or something like that. It's really pretty. It's the big twist living. I like how the, um, the, the strings are different colors too. It's just kind of cool. This one's like orange, pink, and orange. This one's yellow, white, yellow, and pink. And the, it's just so cool and I, I just love it. I, I really love like colored yarns because then I don't have to deal with color changes and they're always so interesting because they always come different. They always, eh, depending on the style, obviously like this one isn't too different. It's like kind of pretty much the same throughout whereas this one is different because the, the yarn itself is changing colors. I really like that. I like that a lot. So we have three bandanas now and that's pretty good getting some inventory going. Um, so that's three bandanas which are going to be priced at I want to say probably $15. I think that seems okay. So that's $45 right there not bad. That covers my market booth fee. So if I sell three bandanas, I make back my market fee. That's nice. Next on my agenda today is to finish this last bandana I was working on. This one here, it's almost done. I think I only have, I might only have to do one more row. And then the, um, let's see. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, one more row and then the border. So that's pretty good. Oh, wait, I'm actually, look, I'm already working on the last row. See, it's already partially done. Look at that. I hope we get some more color soon because we've had a lot of uh, cream for a while. Let's see. Let's pull on it till we get our next bit of color because. I hope we get some for along the the border because we're finishing up the oh my gosh there's still none ah there we go so next is orange <laughs> how long does that orange go for oh not very long and it goes back to the cream oh gosh okay I like this yarn it's super soft but I do wish it had a little bit more color in it <laughs> that's pretty funny okay oh. I have this really cool handy daddy, handy daddy, <laughs> handy dandy little table. I got this at Ross. I've seen them all over the place though. I think I've seen them at Walmart too. 
um, when I was just like walking through the craft aisle or maybe that was like Joann's or something. I don't know. But yeah, there it's pretty cool. It's blue. It's sparkly. It's got like a pocket here, like a really big one. This is right now. I'm keeping my yarn in here. Um, and then it's got two little pockets over here and you can keep other little accessories. Like if you wanted to keep like a needle in here, which would be a good idea. But yeah, I got this a while ago for my other crafts, like when I was more into watercolor and then I was also like into like playing with slime and stuff like that, which I have like over there. I don't know. I, I had like a little thing of playing with, I get weird hyper fixations every once in a while, like something random, like I'm just like, just start showing up in like my, my feeds and then I'm just like, Ooh, that looks like fun. And then it starts showing it to me more and more and more. Especially if I end up following that, like, creator, and then, <sighs> and then, yeah, and then that's how my crochet started. But to be fair, I did start that, um, a while ago, too. I did try years ago, but I, I never got anywhere with it just because I was too busy with other things at the time. But now I have time to try again, especially because I had already bought yarn for punch needle purposes, which I need to also get back into doing. I just, last time I did it, I had some issues. I, I think it was the new needle I bought. I think it was a little bit too sharp and it's like poking holes, which kind of sucks. So I have to do some troubleshooting because I already did some punch needle projects with the fabric that I have. So I know it's not the fabric. So I think it's the needle because I had switched needles. It's, it's kind of annoying that like my favorite punch needle that I have is the one that came in the freaking punch needle kit. <laughs> and it's so skinny and it's so hard to hold, but yet I think it works the best. The only problem is it's not suitable for all yarn um, weights, unfortunately. But I think I do have some yarn I that will fit in it, and I, I might as well just use that little tiny thing. And maybe I can find like some kind of grip or something I can put over the handle of the punch needle because it's just so dang small that it hurts my hand. And it's hard to get a good grip. It's not just only like really thin, it's short. Like it's shorter than a crochet hook. So that kind of, kind of sucks. But I might just have to make do until I can, I can find like, I, I ordered like so many punch needles too. So it's like, I feel like <laughs> I can't find one that I like. Maybe I might have to find like like a custom one on Etsy or from, oh, that was a single crochet. What am I doing? I don't know if anyone makes custom punch needles, but I would be interested if anyone knows anyone who makes custom punch needles. I would love to know about them and possibly support them in the near future. So yeah, I'm just going to work on this and finish this up and then maybe I can get another bandana going. I'm not sure. I kind of feel like I'm a little defeated by bandanas. I've been looking at them for so long and I kind of want to try something new, but I also did get a bunch of new cotton yarn and I kind of feel like I should make some bandanas. Especially because I, it's not that much yarn and I feel like it will only be like the lily sugar and cream. I might be able to get two bandanas, maybe like two and a half bandanas out of. And then I think the other one's probably like one and a half or maybe like enough to like use it as like a border or something. I don't know. Or I can, I think what I was thinking about is after I use all of my like yarn for my bandanas when I have like a bunch of scrap yarn I was thinking I could make like a really cool cute like scrap yarn bandana I thought that would be kind of cool because 
I already have like this bit from the blue one and it's not enough to really make anything other than maybe I could try some you know what actually I bet you oh you guys can't see I bet you I could make um quite a few maybe like two or three little octos out of that that actually might be a good idea and it would be the perfect color because it's like blue and speckled so I think that would be kind of cute because it's kind of like gives off like the the aqua ocean vibes I think I hate when yarn or, I hate when hair gets stuck like in My hair's so long that like my hair gets stuck sometimes in like the project and I feel like that's awful. Like I wouldn't want to buy something from someone that's full of their hair. I might need to start wearing my hair up so that way that doesn't happen. <laughs> Does that happen to anybody else? Does your hair get stuck in your projects and it like doesn't want to come out because it gets like all twisted? Like, ah. Anyways, I think this is starting to be a little bit too long. This is going to be a really long vlog. I'm going to have to probably cut a bunch of stuff out so I think I'm gonna leave it here for the day and then I'll probably pop back in later to um show you everything I made sorry counting <laughs> to show you everything that I um finished for today like I'll show you this bandana when I finish and then whatever else I end up um working on I'll show you um yeah at the end because this is starting to be a little bit too long and um yeah it's probably gonna already take some time to edit and it's gonna be my first time editing a long form video like this so we'll see how it goes <laughs> <sighs> you guys aren't gonna believe what I did <laughs> so <laughs> I cut off I fastened off my end and I started making my chain for the um for the for the straps right so you can for the tie so you can tie it I, I cut it off and I started making the straps and then you want to know what what I realized I forgot the border I didn't add the border <laughs> and I cut it ah! I'm so annoyed I can't believe I did that <laughs> so it's <laughs> I don't know what to do. I might, I think I'm going to uh, undo this chain and, uh, where's the end? I'm going to undo this chain, I think, and I guess just knot it back together and uh, hope that's okay. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I got too into watching TV. <laughs> I came out to the living room. I started watching some documentary about this youtuber on hbo max and uh, i just got lost uh, all right well i'm almost done hi good morning it's the next day i finished this almost i did the border i still need to make the straps which won't take too long and then that'll be done so i, I feel quite accomplished this week i got quite a bit done i mean not a lot but more than I have been able to in the past just because I've been so busy and tired from work when when I work like my full shifts I'm just so tired and it's just exhausting at work <laughs> um I work for a retail company and I am the markdown captain so I do I do a lot with markdown stuff and everybody's always coming to me and I have to fix problems and I have to you know delegate and it can be exhausting <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so I have a lot of free time this week coming up, so I'm going to finish this today. It's Friday. Um, I don't work today. Um, otherwise, I'd already be there. It's too, normally, if I film before work, it's it's dark still. <laughs> um, but I have a lot of free time this week because we don't have any markdowns going at my work, so I unfortunately didn't get scheduled, which kind of sucks. <laughs> I only work two days next week and it's it's gonna be brutal especially because they're only four hour shifts so I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe pick up a shift or extend the two I'm already working Ugh. 
Plus, it's just hard to, like, when you mentally know you have, like, that time off, like, you know you need the money, it's, like, you don't want to work because you're, like, oh, yay, a little mini vacay, but then it's, like, you regret it when you don't get paid. So, yeah, I'm gonna try, and then if I don't end up getting any hours, I can at least utilize this time to at least work on, like, crochet and, and all that fun stuff. Um, but I'm gonna end the vlog here for, um, this one, and then... I will start recording for the next one later on today, too. I'm working on um, uploading my videos to Dropbox because I have to upload all of them there first before I can edit them because I record on my phone. And yeah, um, in order for me to edit on my iPad because I have, um, I don't have an iPhone, I have a Samsung. So unfortunately, I can't airdrop, which sucks. But I can upload a Dropbox, which is what I'm going to do, and then just edit from my iPad, and hopefully I can get this video up later today, and um, yeah, thanks for watching my very first vlog, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you like more, I guess, you know, the whole like, subscribe thing, <laughs> um, yes, and I will see you guys next time, bye!